we're in Oakland. We are staying in Hayward. Montez is eating the croissant. <laughs> we're staying in Hayward. We drove 20 minutes to come here to find a place to work out of. But the indoor seating in all these places are is like shut down. Like we went to Sweet July, Aisha Curry's place. Coffee's fire, but couldn't work out of there. And we really need to find a place to work ASAP. So we're going into San Francisco now where parking is sure to be limited um, to find a place to work, uh, which is further away from my Airbnb, but it's fine. You know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so hopefully they have indoor seating. I like looked on TikTok, found this place called Sight Glass. So hopefully that works out because we really need to get started with work. And I like to go work at a place sometime. Like our Airbnb is really tiny. Um, and it's kind of really cold too. So I really wanted to work out of a coffee shop today and just see what the city's talking about. We didn't do that that much in LA and that was like one of my biggest regrets. Um, we kind of just stayed in the house like during work. So we're trying to do things differently this time and really go out and see the city, which is, I mean, I'm, I'm glad we came to Oakland. Like I see it, it's cute. It's kind of reminding me of Atlanta. Like there's like JJ Fish here. I'm like, oh, this is like Atlanta of California. That's what Montez said. He was like, this is a Atlanta of California. Um, and so, I mean, because I literally saw no police in L.A., at least where we were in L.A., like a Koreatown area. I ain't seen none but police since we got to Oakland. So <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is where my people at. Um, it's really cute, too, though. But you can tell I like gentrifying it and <laughs> ruining it. Oh, here's the data fish. Gentrifiers. And the gentrifiers. No. Oh, yeah, those are white people. Yeah, there's JJ's fish. Hope you guys can see it. Okay. I used to carry got some fire coffee. They had like all these little specialty um little flavoring profiles and I really like the one I got. I got the island for that. coffee shop I've ever been in um oh wait let me back up the place closed at 3 30 they didn't have any plugs or wi-fi I went in the bathroom no mirrors which I'm actually fine with the mirrors can be triggering Do we say where the, place was? the place is called sight glass coffee this is where we thought we would be working out of until 3 30 but unfortunately no I mean it is 3 30 technically now but um, we just basically worked until our computer died, um, but they had no Wi-Fi or mirrors in their bathroom. But what tripped me out in the bathroom, I was using the restroom and I looked over and I'm like, there is no sink also, but the sink was on the outside, but I didn't know that. So I'm like, where the fuck am I supposed to wash my hands? They don't believe in washing hands either in San Francisco. I don't know. No um, outlets, no Wi-Fi, no, no mirrors. All right. We just actually decided to just go ahead and go back to Airbnb because... Um, so far we've been 0 for 2 with these coffee shops and I don't think I, I can't deal with another L today. So we're just gonna go. And this probably probably wouldn't be an L cause I like did a lot of research on it, but it's just good to go in the back. We're like 40 minutes away from the Airbnb. Uh, cause we went to Oakland first and then we went into San Francisco. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go back. But Montez almost got in a fight. Spicy for the vlog. <laughs> Spicy for the vlog. A little spice. Come on, give us a little. I was on FaceTime with my mom um, outside this coffee shop. Where the what's the name of it? Sight work. Sight glass. Sight glass work. Whatever. Uh, if anybody that works at Sight work sees Sight glass. Sight glass. glass. Anybody that works at Sight glass sees this. I'm gonna need y'all to get some outlets for your customers that come. It's just a work. different vibe. It's, it's not. A, a it's vibe. not a working coffee shop. It's not a working. They don't want you to work because they don't have Wi-Fi. There's no outlets. They have all these dope tables for you to do work at, but they don't want you to stay because there's no outlets and there's no Wi-Fi. Um, but I digress. Anyways, I'm outside the coffee shop. on FaceTime my mom. There's a guy who's like, I'm parked on the street. We're, we're in the car, parked on the street. If you can see, look at all the stuff that we have in the car. 
Because um, we haven't fully unpacked yet. Haven't fully unpacked. So I see somebody like looking in the glass, whatever, whatever. Apparently he just got done taking a piss. I didn't see him taking no piss. All I see is a nigga looking, or all I see is a guy looking in to the glass of the vehicle that I drive. And I'm like, yo, okay, so what's up? Is there a problem with the car or something? It's like, is there an issue? And he looking at me crazy, like I just, I just did something wrong. And he's like, yo, I just took a piss. Like I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not in no car. And I'm like, I'm clearly just saw you looking in the car, but whatever. I'm not trying to. I told him like, I'm not trying to be the piss monitor. I just saw you looking at the whip, so I'm at this is the whip that I'm I drive. So I'm like, okay, so is there a problem? And he was upset and he was like, nah, I was taking a piss. And I was like, all right, you just taking a piss? I'm gonna walk away now. And that was that. But he was clearly ready to throw hands. I opted not to do that because I would have probably got my ass beat just being 100%. <laughs> 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 and was he big, like a big guy? He was not small. I mean, he was definitely like. You know, he could look at the top of my head just yeah. by standing over me. So, Fuck no. Ain't nobody trying to get in no fight in freaking our first day. <laughs> first day. No. Ain't nobody trying to get in a fight, period. Fighting, you, and then the way we seen these police, no. We, I don't know what would have happened if you got in a fight. So, I'm very glad we did not choose the violence today. <laughs> but you wouldn't have got beat up. I would have looked outside and you would have been good because I got you. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's funny. <laughs> That's how I be feeling, too. I be talking real spicy, but... I never came down to it, I probably. Nah, y'all ain't being my ass. I ain't putting put that on the internet because then no motherfuckers gonna try to fight me. But I'd rather solve things with my words if I can do that. And that's what I do. Um, because I'd rather not get in a fight. Um, in a city I'm not familiar with. So, yeah. You should be like, look at these nails, niggas. I ain't trying to fucking get in no fight. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to fuck my shit up. Driving, is that yeah, Kitaba? that's it. Turn around and get that. Oh, oh. Okay, we were on the way to the Airbnb, but I got really hungry, and I don't know about y'all, but I get really bad car sickness. Um, and I'm really not fun to be around when I have car sickness. So, we stopped and got some food from this place called Catava. How do you feel like Kava? I love. I love kava, and low key looks like kava. Healthy-ish food. Um, this is like a bowl. I just honestly, it was like one of the popular things. And at that point, I was really getting hangry. So I just, I just clicked what I saw. It looked good. The house. Oh no. Oh, but I'm getting messy. I have on white. not to get messy anyway this has some potato green sunflower seeds it's like hummus and pickled onions pickled onions are low-key growing on me but yeah i'm about to take my first bite oh my god look frog i'm not gonna catch it ah plc did y'all see? I think I missed it, but yeah. they were people. They were people doing wheelies. Yeah, that was tight. That was so cool. On dirt bikes. On dirt bikes. I love that. Oh, there's some quinoa on here too. It's pretty good. Like a kitab. Mm-hmm. Do you want to get a couple bites of yours? I'll just wait till we get there. You're not hungry? You wanna buy the mine? Sure. Montez got the chicken something something. Mm -hmm. Sesame chicken? Sesame chicken, yeah. Oh. Uh. People are looking this one. Car. They just come around. I think they with these guys they're drinking and stuff. I want to move locations. I don't feel safe. I'm ready to go. Montez almost out in the fight. People look into the car. We got all our shit with us. Did you get a bike? I did. Okay. Let's get it. 
we just got back to the airbnb after i feel like we were in the car forever um i'm about to finish that food and do some work i'm gonna take a little break and eat that food and when i say a little break i mean a little one because your girl got a lot to do i got a lot to do <sighs> fuck but now my energy is low and i just want to go to sleep no i gotta get done though i gotta tap into that power but right now i'm hungry so i'm gonna take that food and i'll probably talk to y'all tomorrow Bye. Good morning. Today is a really exciting day. It's Monday and we are shooting Jasmine Stanley for Mate. Um, it's my first time shooting with her. I've mainly been like editing with her. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, it should be a really fun shoot. And I got dressed up a little bit in this new Zara set. Normally I wouldn't wear stuff like this because like a little flabby, but you know, Montez encouraged me to try something new and this is the style I want to wear it's just I always feel like I can't wear it unless I'm a size zero but it's like you know what fuck that I'm not a size zero and I want to wear the clothes I want to wear and I'm not gonna wait until I'm a certain size to wear it so um yeah I'm really excited for today just and embodies that whole ideal of <sighs> not really body positivity I kind of hate that but just like just showing up as the fuck you are not like letting being a certain size hold you back from that so very excited for today and yeah, it's just because I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm always saying I won't change, but I ain't the same. Everything's different. I can't complain. You don't know what you miss. Shame on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame on you. Everything's strange. That's just a game. Everybody crazy. So I was editing this video, just like the last one, and realized I did not include the vital information that we were actually deciding to move to the bay. Mm -hmm. um, after that photo shoot with Justin and that you guys just watched, um, I was given a promotion and it made it really easy to move here. Um, beyond just work, like we really liked it here um, and we wanted to spend more time in this area. I mean, we went to LA at first, mm -hmm. and I mean, aside from it being expensive, kind of wasn't the vibe, I guess, as far yeah. as like wanting to live there. But then coming to visit up here, um, Hayward slash the Bay Area, um, and then venturing into venturing into the Bay Area, like you know, like okay, yeah, the Bay could be cool. Yeah. Um, even though LA was expensive, the Bay is actually the most expensive, one of the yeah. most expensive, I mean, San Francisco, San Francisco specifically is one of the most expensive cities. Um, I think it goes between them and New York, like, depending yeah. on the year. I think so. Um, but, I mean, the vibe is unmatched. Like, it, it has a really cool energy here. Um, everybody's so nice. It visually looks different than any other city I've ever lived in. Um, and we came to Oakland. We didn't get to really spend that much time in Oakland before looking at apartments here, but we really liked the vibe. And then finding out so many, like it was very similar to Atlanta in a lot of ways. And it seemed like it was a like really dope hub for a lot of black people, it had a really dope creative scene. And so it was just kind of checking all the boxes of yeah. like why to move here. We looked at a couple places. We're driving into San Francisco from Hayward right now to our first uh, apartment viewing. And now we're stuck to our apartment hunt for the Bay Area. Um, yeah, what, San Francisco, Oakland, and maybe Alameda on the list for today. That was our, they sound far, but they're not there all within 20 or so minutes of each other. This is like the city. 
Harry's the main thoroughfare. Oh, what's that Well, so cars used to be able to drive on it. Okay. Not anymore, but it's much safer for pedestrians. But one of the red flags for me was, or for us was, we'd have to park our car in a separate garage and that parking was gonna be like $350 a month. Um, and you had to basically, like there was no other option of like you couldn't park your car in that garage because basically you'd be risking the chance of someone breaking into your car. Um, there was this one woman who told us a story about this dude, she like saw this dude's car and like it had, human poop smeared all over the door of it. And so it just seemed like, <laughs> I don't know, it just seemed a lot more like scary or something. Like it seemed not yeah. the vibe. Yeah, it didn't seem like the vibe. I mean, it's, I don't know. It was just the parking situation. Yeah. And all that just didn't seem. And even looking back over the footage, like in the moment, I really liked the apartment, but looking back at it, like compared to the one we got, I was like, it's very tiny. <laughs> it was so tiny. And one thing I really wanted was the bathtub and every place we looked at in San Francisco did not have showers. Right? Only had showers. Yeah. And the bedroom carpeting just wasn't ideal. Um, I was looking back at that and I was like, this is kind of ugly. Um, the bedroom carpet? And it had carpet. Oh, at 50 Jones it did? Mm -hmm. oh, and okay. it was like ugly. Like if I show you back the footage, it's not good. Um, and the closets were way smaller. And I mean, that, you're living in a big city, so like that's, you yeah. know, bound to be a thing. But um, yeah, it just, it just, for the amount you're paying, like I just didn't think In a city, it just wasn't going to be it for us, you know? Yeah. Like, just the general like kind of area, the Bay Area is better. Yeah, like having a car. Um, like it's just it's a better city if you don't have a car in that and um yeah. I I literally just got my car so it's no parting ways with that car in ten soon and I like having a car like I like the mobility of that too yeah um because I mean we drove here cross country in that car and so like if we want to drive down to L A or just anything that we want to do like having that flexibility I really like we're heading to the next place um the first place was actually really nice. It was a little bit, well, they had two options. One, a lower budget option and higher budget option. And we definitely prefer the higher budget one. Um, they didn't have any available parking for our car. So we'd have to park it in a nearby garage, um, which is maybe that's like, we're just unfamiliar with all of this parking and stuff, but it was cool. So this next place is in also in San Francisco. Um, I feel like I shouldn't say the places. Um, unless we like, I only I will only share the places that we don't end up going with, um, because the internet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're checking out another place, and yeah, I like my outfit today. I feel like I look cute. It's a little chilly. Me and Montez both are wearing up here, Moss. Then we 
saw one other place in San Francisco. Well, it was a hotel that was converted into a um, apartment building, and it just wasn't updated in the way that I was like again spending that much money. Like <laughs> yeah. you wanted to be updated, um, and it was kind of scary too. Like the hallways were very dark. They were kind of dark. Yeah, yeah. I, remember, <laughs> I remember the hallways being dark. The carpet was kind of like old. Yeah, it seemed like I mean the building itself kind of seemed like old. Yeah. And they were wearing, like, to your point about um, the money, like, they were wearing the amenities. Mm-hmm. Like that, no, so. literally no amenities. Um, yeah, it just not, I did not get a good feeling from that place. Um, so Join then, our privilege complaining about not having amenities. But that's important, finding, you know, yeah, I think, an apartment complex or place to live. Yeah, like, if you're, when like, you're renting. these, the amount these the amount, the amount of money that these places are charging, like you want to take the effort and spend time like finding something that's just right for you, that's still fits in your budget, um, and they're out there. You just have to do the extra work of like looking for it, um, which is why we came to Oakland. Oh, we both love the loft. Um, and then I was looking around and I was like, oh, it's really dark in here. Like, why is it so dark? And she was like, yeah, that's the one thing. Um, where it was in the building, the only it only had one window, and the one window was like facing another building, so it got no real light. And so we would have had to we would have had to do so much to that place to make it like livable. The one we were looking at was so heavily discounted because it had been on the market for a while because people um, kept passing up on it because of the sunlight issue. Yeah, I, I mean it just wasn't ideal not having you know, any sunlight because yeah. that's the thing that I associate lost with like having. Like, all the sunlight. sunlight, yeah. Yeah, so. It was missing When it didn't have that, picture. I was just like, you know, you know I'm Yeah, <laughs> no, literally. Yeah. But before I realized that, that was gonna be the place we lived in. Yeah. Um, and where we moved is actually not too far from that. So like where everything we loved about the area, because that was another thing too, we really liked the area it was in. And so where, we're, we are, where we are currently isn't actually that far from that. Mm-hmm. And so we're still getting the benefits of the area. The, the company that owns this place owns like a lot of properties here in um, Oakland. And so we came here originally to view one of their other properties. And then she was like, let me show you a place inside this building. and. The apartment we live in now, it wasn't available, but she showed us like one that kind of looks like it. 25, 27. 25, yeah. 25, 27. This is very cute. This is cute. And we really loved it. This place had a lot of amenities. It had a gym, it had an elevator, because one of the other ones did not have an elevator. Um, Rooftop. Rooftop. Two kind of like yeah, two. two. Areas. Um, this uh, area we're in right now, this actually is even our apartment. Like this is a part of the building, and yeah, we just get like a common, common, common area. area. Yeah, um, a co-working space, which, which was really important because we work from home, and we're getting furniture now. But like, I feel like I'm still probably gonna use that co-working space even after we have like all the furniture and stuff because it's just so convenient. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, this was the place that we really like the most and the area is like insanely good like so much good food and coffee shops nearby um yeah it's super walkable which is like my dream my dream has always been to live somewhere that's like really really walkable um and the garage fee was a lot cheaper than like in san francisco it costs like a hundred i mean three hundred dollars three not three hundred plus like 350 plus to mm-hmm. store a car in a garage that may not even be a part of your building but here it's like how much uh it's like two cents. i don't know it's not it's not what it was uh what it was in san francisco okay well yeah it's definitely much cheaper, cheaper. Yeah. um and, but it's a weird like stacker garage like i've never seen any it's like kind of a vending machine garage situation you know, we've been enjoying living here we've been here Almost a whole month now, so it'll be a month next week. Oh no, in four days, because it's 420. So yeah, I have to say. Four days. A couple of days. 
That's exciting. Well, cool. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Always said I wanted all, but it's not enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm always saying I won't change, but I ain't the same. Everything's different. I can't complain. You don't know what you miss. Shame on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame on you. Everything's strange. That's just a game. Everybody's going in the way.